now we know how basic navigation works about pivot table what is the use of filters columns right rows values and uh, how this pivot table fields we turn that on right so let me just take a one step ahead right and this is the larger data set for me cool uh, as compared to previous one which was this right so now i have this larger data set with me in this what we gonna cover we gonna cover grouping and a calculated field so what is the use of that so grouping is basically it help us to group a quarter wise data month wise data okay that time now here randomly i'll just put a 24 okay here and uh, here i would just say 2020 like this control d or maybe simply just select this 22 like this randomly i'm just keeping the data set change folks okay so the a data set has been changed now now we have this uh, raw data set available we just clean the data over here in insert pure table this time we'll select new worksheet earlier we have seen existing worksheet this time we'll see new worksheet simply click over here as we last seen right what is the use of filters columns rows and values as you understand this simply when you click on this option tools right you probably see this option okay this one or maybe this one or maybe this one cool any of the option correct use is the same okay if only the formatting can be changed okay folks sort by a to z so if in case uh, you have a multiple fields available simply you can just click over here sort a to z and basis that you can just play around with this this time i have changed this setting as well now we have this pure table field added in new worksheet we have the data available at the back end okay only the pure table we are creating in new worksheet altogether since we are working on this date part so that's what on our date i'll just simply keep in row section right as soon as i drag this you could see years quarters month date is automatically added over here and this uh, you have seen multiple times when you work with the data right i'll explain you that part as well product let me just put this as a product and this time i will just say quantity in values we have did we have just drag and drop the values cool now suppose i don't want to see this okay just select this right click and here you could see ungroup right you can see the exact date available if in case you still want to group it okay simply just click and in this grouping you can see what you want you want a month wise data you can simply keep month wise if in case you only want a quarter wise you can keep quarter wise i just select a quarter so quarter one two three four data has been bifurcated for me right i'll do a control z again simply click group again i want a what i want i want a month wise this time i can see jan feb march april may so and so forth right again ungroup and this time we have data as is available now as in the previous series i have told you that you know we can change the row labels name to the date or maybe whatever field name is available we can do that okay it's very simple to do but that we gonna cover in next series while we are doing a formatting in the pure table cool so we have covered so far grouping now what we want to cover we want to check a average sales to be done with the help of calculated fields meaning suppose i don't want this filters okay suppose i just want a product over here this is the quantity for me and this is the sales for me suppose i want to see a average sales correct that time we use this calculated fields right or maybe if in case you want to see accuracy if you want to see a occupancy of the employee right that time also majority mis guys wfm guys use this option in pure table fields there is an option called fields items and simply click here calculated fields right in calculated fields i will just say average 
sales and here i will add a formula so what is the formula for me formula is this quantity divided by this sales and i'll add it you can see it's been added over here the field has been added over here right okay and when i click over here let me just pull this out because my screen is bit smaller and this is the sum of average it's showing right i'll just simply click over here value field setting and here number format i will say percentage and simply click okay and okay you can see you in can percentage see. format our average sales is been reflecting over here so this is how we can use this effectively pure table calculated fields and grouping in ms excel next series we can see how to change a color okay how to do a editing in it how to do a formatting what type of calculation uh, we can do it subtotal total grand total so on so multiple forth. things we going to cover in the end of the series